So this is the screen that you will see when you open the spectroscopy software. Um, what I'm going to start is just by taking a clear cuvette, placing it in the spectrometer. I am first going to calibrate it to make sure that I read the correct absorbent spectrum. So I'm calibrating it in the dark and then I'm adding ethanol to the cuvette because that's the solvent in which the chlorophyll has been extracted. So I'm going to place a cuvette with some ethanol into the spectrometer and I'm going to calibrate it as well. So you're going to see not much happening but it will show that it's calibrating. So this will be a normal absorbent spectrum just for the chlorophyll to show you where it absorbs in the, in the light spectrum. There it's calibrating and we're good to go. So now I'm going to empty my cuvette. I'm going to add in some of the chlorophyll solution that I've extracted into some from some leaves into ethanol. Um, I'm going to make sure that the cuvette is nice and clean, that it's dry before placing it back into the spectrometer and making sure that there's a nice clean pathway for the light to travel through the cuvette. You'll remember that Beer's law says that there's a direct correlation between absorbance and concentration. So there I've just measured my spectrum, I've just uh, expanded it and there we can see really nicely that I definitely have a peak um, in my spectrum so I'm going to stop uh, the recording and then I'm going to go and analyze where those peaks are so that's around 662 nanometers, which is what I expect for one of the chlorophylls. And there seems to be two little additional peaks. Maybe that's a mixture of two different chlorophylls. Um, one had 471 nanometer and one also at 441 nanometers. So I'm going to leave it up to you to go and decide which chlorophylls do you think are present. Um, in the sample of leaves that I took, I'm going to take a snapshot of that recording and then save that for my lab notes later.